Here are some beautiful swatches, well, some beautiful shades from the new Terra Moons Cosmetics collection that's coming out today at this point. I'm so sorry for the delay and the bugs that I had, but I put these in the windowsill with Artie in his favorite window in the house, and they just shift so beautifully. This is Vampire Star. It is one of my absolute favorite shades. Look at that shift. Do you see that? And it shifts so easily. And you can even capture the shifts in pictures very easily. Vampire Star, a thousand out of ten recommend. Look at those shifts. I feel like I spent more time on this one than any of them. But it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. I feel like it has more of green gold and lilac lavender shifts and shades to it. Very beautiful. This is a Filion. It paired with Vampire Star is incredible. It is a pink with hints of green and gold, and the sparkle is divine. It makes me think of summertime. It's got like lime with pink. It's very, very reflective. Absolutely beautiful. Now, this shade right here is one more of a like pastel. The base is more of a white base. This is Moonlighter. It's so pretty. The reflex are more of a icy teal kind of. Very like soft but powerful. Very, very beautiful. It's very, it has hints of green as well. I use it a lot for my brow bone highlighter since it's come in. Now with Cloud Rider, it is absolutely beautiful. It's like cotton candy. When I was a kid, I would think of clouds as cotton candy. So I felt like the name was so fitting. There are like blue and pink shifts. Very, very, very gorgeous. Very shifty. These singles, I will be using so much. Now here they are in the low light. This is the low light with the flash on. Just so that you can really see the sparkles in them. Because I'm, I really, as much as I love multi-chromes, I suck at saying, like, what the colors in the base are. So I wanted to give you more of an idea of what they looked like. So now on to the Lovers on the Sun, the Lunar version. And you will see a cameo of Artie, possibly. I don't feel like I cut that out. But the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. Now this one has two mattes and four shimmers and they are so beautiful i feel like there is one multi-chrome or one like duo chrome and the rest are multi-chrome so like solar halo the whole like top row i feel like the more gold one is the duo chrome one and i was just really trying to capture the reflex and just show how beautiful it is in the sunlight so this is solar halo it is very, very pretty. It's kind of a pastel one, and it has really nice, beautiful, light purple sparkles with it. Sunset Embrace reminds me a bit of Ultraviolet, but it has a more pink base, I feel like. with it, it, It's just beautiful. Now, this matte is very creamy and easy to work with from what I've tried. I was going to include it in the video, but I my, my brain has been jumbled, and so I didn't get around to using it. Now, this one here, Celestial Love, is just gorgeous. The mattes in this palette are, like, really, really easy to work with with not a lot of fallout, minimum fallout. Very, very nice. They blend very easily. Look at the sparkles in this. I also see Biscuit and Artemis in the window. I'm sorry. I just think that is adorable. But I I just wanted to showcase the lunar version of the Lovers on the Sun palette. And just show some swatches. Since that was the palette that was sent my way. Just look at how beautiful they are. I love the shades. I feel like this is very much up my alley. And I will be reaching for it a lot. And I'm really excited to do more looks with it. I've just kind of been in a creative rut, so that is why I used more of the Blend Bunny Cosmetics and Glaminatrix palette, uh, palettes in my tutorials, but I am looking forward to using this soon. Now, this is Lotus Moon, the lip gloss that they sent over, and it is so pigmented. I had forgot 
but by the time I went to do these swatches or this swatch on my lips that I was going to do that so my lips were already lined with a more of a brown lip liner from ColourPop but look at the pigment in that lip gloss you would think I would think if, if it was just me watching I, I would totally be like that liquid lipstick looks amazing but it's a gloss and it's so so pigmented so comfortable and it doesn't really run like some other glosses that I've tried. It's like I was very, very impressed. And I felt like the color was absolutely beautiful. I love the color. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And I felt like that was just like dreamy. So I want to thank you so much for watching. And I am so, so sorry about the hiccups in my three looks video. And I that where I didn't include these, I did upload uh, another version that has all of this included but I wanted to do this just if you were only interested in swatches of the things so I want to thank you for watching